Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up our environment for working with the DAS to Hue digital assets. So the first thing we're going to need obviously is DAS Studio. Uh, I recommend downloading the latest version which is 4.21. Uh, I've not tested this on earlier versions so I don't know how it will work. Obviously being Houdini digital assets you will need a copy of Houdini as well. This will work with Houdini Indie or higher. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with Houdini Apprentice because things like FBX exporting has been disabled on Houdini Apprentice. Houdini Indie is available as a one or two year subscription. Uh, the two year subscription, I think, is pretty good value for money. You can either purchase it from the SideFX website or it's also available on Steam. At this point, I'm going to assume that you already have Dash Studio installed and running, uh, as well as Houdini. Uh, it's not something I'm going to cover in this video. There are many videos available online for how to set up both of these applications if you run into any trouble, uh, but both are pretty straightforward to get up and running. Uh, in addition to that, we are going to need two plugins for Dash Studio. The first being the Daz to Maya Bridge plugin. Uh, now we are only concerned about the Daz side of that. Uh, we don't need Maya installed. Uh, we won't be using Maya at all. Um, we just need really this DLL file, um, which is the Daz side of that bridge. Uh, so we're going to download that now. And again, I'll put a link in the description for where to download these. Uh, what we need this plugin for is primarily to be able to export uh, a subdivided FBX out of Daz Studio along with its animations. The other plugin we're going to need for Daz Studio is called the Sagan Alambic Exporter plugin. Uh, this plugin is developed by a community member who goes by the name of The Mystery is the Point here on the Daz Studio forums. Uh, I would very much like to thank The Mystery is the Point for developing this plugin. Uh, this workflow would not be possible without it. Uh, and in addition to developing it, uh, they've been kind enough to make some slight changes in recent releases of the plugin, which has made this particular workflow uh, quite a bit easier. Uh, so, again, I'll put a link in the description. Um, so, we can download this plugin from a Google Drive. We want the latest version which at this point in time is version 3.2. So we're going to download that as well. Lastly, you will obviously need the Daz to Hue digital assets, um, of which there'll also be a link in the description. So you'll just need to download the zip file for those as well. So at this point, you should have those three files downloaded, the Sagan Iambic Exporter, the Daz to Maya Bridge DLL, and the Daz to Hue digital assets. So we'll just quickly go through how we install each of those. The first thing I'm going to do is unzip them. Now, to install the Daz Studio plugins, if you've not done this before, what you need to do is navigate to where your Daz Studio executable is installed. That will vary depending on where you've decided to install Daz Studio, obviously. Uh, but inside there, you will see a plugins folder. And it's just a matter of copying over the two DLL files into this plugins folder. So we'll start with the Daz to Maya bridge. Now I already have it, so it will overwrite it. And the same for the Sagan Alambic exporter plugin. Now for the Daz to Hue assets, there's a number of ways you can install digital assets in Houdini. Uh, the way I'm going to show is probably the easiest. Uh, and that involves navigating to where your Houdini user preferences directory is. Uh, if you're unsure where that is, you can run the Houdini command line tool and type hconfig. And the directory we're looking for is this Houdini user preferences directory. There you can see the path to where mine is. So if you navigate to that path, you will see a directory structure that looks a bit like this. Um, particularly, you'll see the OTLs folder, 
and the toolbar folder. What we want to do is copy all the .hda files, these are the actual digital assets, into the OTLs folder. And we also want to copy the dust to hue shelf file into the toolbar folder. And that's about it for installing the digital assets. We're just going to now test that everything is installed properly before we get started. So I'm going to fire up Dose Studio. And we're just going to make sure that both of those plugins we installed are active. To do that, you can go to the Help menu, click on About Install Plugins. And we're looking for the Dust to Maya Bridge, which it is installed and is active. If yours isn't, if it doesn't have a tick, next to it you can just tick it and the same goes for the Sagan 3 plugin because I've already installed them both of mine are already active if you did need to activate them I, by ticking them you will need to restart Dust Studio after doing that uh, and then when you come back into Dust Studio they should be active uh, and you can check that by going to the file menu where we should see a send to as to Maya, and also the edit menu where we should see the Sagan Iambic Exporter V3. So that's confirmed that both of those plugins we need are now installed and working. We'll now jump into Houdini and just make sure that the digital assets and the shelf tool we installed are also working. So once you've fired up Houdini, uh, there's a couple of ways to check that they're working. Firstly, you should see a Daz to Hue shelf being added. If it's not visible for you, you might need to click the plus sign uh, to add a new shelf. So you click the plus sign, go to shelves, make sure Daz to Hue is ticked. Do that again. The other way we can check is if we drop down a geometry node dive into that and right click you should also see the dust to hue category along with all the digital assets that we'll be using so it looks like everything's now up and running uh, in the next video we will start on actually using the workflow uh, by ex exporting a character out of dust studio i'll see you then